staying in my pajamas a little bit longer this morning. It's like almost 11 o'clock and I am still not ready for the day. And I was just about to go into my room and get ready for the day, put my makeup on and everything. And I just, what I really want to do more than that is go check my garden because not last night, but the night before we, we saw some radish sprouts. And so I'm I checked yesterday, but of course you can't tell like that much of a change, but I'm dying to get out there this morning and see what they look like. So I'm not gonna get ready quite yet. Let's go out to the garden and see what this is looking like. So over here, I also planted my zucchini and squash last night. So we'll see what that does. Do you wanna go to the garden with mommy? Taking my slippers off for grounding. Oh my gosh, first thing I see is a cucumber sprout. We did not see that yesterday. I don't think there's anything over here yet. This is cucumber too. That's exciting. Dustin's gonna be so excited about that. Okay, radish sprouts. Let me show you guys. Got some here. This one is a lot. This row right here did really good. Is there everywhere? See. Oh, there's another little one popping up there. 
little one popping up there. One back there. So exciting. Okay, let's check on the bell peppers. I don't see anything here yet. So we'll wait on those. And I don't see anything with our tomatoes quite yet either. Yeah, but that's okay because we planted these a few days later. But that is so exciting. I cannot wait to tell Justin we finally have a cucumber sprout. One thing we really struggle with though is keeping this greenhouse cool enough. And we have all the windows open to try to get some breeze in here. That is open back there. Maybe we just pull this whole thing open back here because we can do that like we have on this side. This door is completely open so maybe we'll open this one today because it's so hot. It's not 113 degrees today but it only is in the greenhouse. It's like 86 degrees today which is still really hot but it's even hotter in the greenhouse. Y'all, I've got some mint over here popping up too, so that's exciting. The potatoes are thriving too. This is the one we pulled from the other day, and I just don't, I don't think it's going to come back. I think we're going to end up having to pull all this, but we replanted, not really knowing what we're doing. <laughs> we're just winging it, um, but I don't know what's going to happen there. And we've got some more pretty good sprouts over here too. Everything out there does need to be watered, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Um, it's just too hot out there. And this camera that I have, it overheats a lot. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna give it a break inside. I'll probably go ahead and get ready for the day. I'm gonna go tell Justin we have a cucumber sprout. He's gonna be really excited about that. And then we'll go back out there and try to open up the greenhouse and I'll water everything then. Hey babe, guess what? What? We have a cucumber sprout. Oh, yeah, already? yeah, I feel like I'm yeah. The radishes are looking good. Well, we planted it the same day we did the radishes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the yeah. ones right next to it. Okay, yeah, I was thinking that was one on the other side. The bell peppers. Yeah, yeah. No, there's nothing there yet. Um, what else did we plant? Oh, the tomatoes. There's nothing there yet, but we have good. I a cucumber be, sprout. I figured they'd be right behind them because yesterday you know, uh -huh. we started seeing the other ones. So yeah, awesome. By the way, we have birthday decorations all in the house because. Ross's birthday was the 16th, so I might actually leave this up a little bit longer. And then I wrote like these hearts and um, had 10 things we love about Ross because he turned 10. And we did this for Julie's birthday too, for her last birthday, and she loved it so much she took all her hearts down and they're all up in her bedroom now. And her birthday was in February and she still has all her hearts up. But I was like, oh, that, that really means something to him. So, um, we did it for Ross's birthday too, but I don't even know. I don't think I'm going to take this down yet because it just feels fun. All right. I'm coming in here to the bathroom to get my makeup on. I know there's kind of an echo, but hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I was kind of going to give y'all like a rundown of what I plan to do today. So first of all, I like to lay out my makeup because I have all my makeup here in this bag. Trying to face it this way where y'all are, but really you're looking at the mirror. Um, anyway, I like to lay out all my makeup because it's all in the bag, and then I just hate like digging through, like, oh, where's this brush? You know, it's like if I lay it out beforehand, then it's easy to find. Since I'm doing this, I might as well share what I'm putting on my face anyway, but this is the No Problem. I get it off of Amazon, and it's like a green primer, and it's amazing for making it look like you don't have any pores. So I go ahead and put that on for my foundation. Um, one thing on my list today is I would love to make hummingbird food. The other day, Justin saw a video and he was like, hey, we should make hummingbird food because we have a hummingbird feeder, but we don't have any more food and it's like, it's really just sugar and water, and I think you just boil it. I don't know, he was making it sound really easy. Maybe there's more to it than that, but he was like, oh, we can make our own hummingbird food. Showing you guys my foundation. This is Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Makeup Foundation, and I'm using the shade 290, and I'm about out, so 
have to completely open it up. I know you guys saw me making sourdough bread, but I would also love to make some sourdough cookies. Um, I make these like sourdough chocolate chip with butterscotch chips cookies. Um, the recipe actually, like the recipe that I found doesn't call for butterscotch, but um, one time that was just what I had and I made it with butterscotch and everybody was like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna make those. And then I also need to clean out our car. It's looking really, really gross right now. So I'm gonna do that. My powder, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me. And this is the color 120, classic ivory. I actually just put this on, um, but I use this brush from e.l.f. Looks like that, like a kabuki brush. Um, but yeah, I just put it all over my face. So my bronzer, this is, wow, look at this. Wow, this has been used. And I, I gotta figure out what, this is a hot mess. Um, Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer, I guess is what it's called. I don't even remember when I got this. I've been using it for so long. But I also need to do some laundry today. I've got like two loads that need to be folded. One's sitting on the couch and one is done in the dryer. So I need to do that. And then I have dishes on the list, but Justin went ahead and got to most of those this morning. But we almost have a full dishwasher already. So I kept dishes on the list because I might have to do more dishes. There's other things on my list like cleaning the windows, but we'll see what I get to because it's such a beautiful day outside. And I think what I'm gonna end up wearing today is my bathing suit and just a wrap around skirt because I might go swimming. And it might just be like a pretty relaxed outside day. <laughs> I say relaxed. While I also have to clean out the car, make sourdough bread, make sourdough cookies. Like, the list is very long for a relaxed day, but you guys know what I mean. I like to have a relaxed feel in every day. A feminine, relaxed feel in homemaking. Like, none of this absolutely has to happen. It's just what I want to do today. Well, laundry absolutely has to happen. So that's, like, priority number one. But... Everything else, making the sourdough cookies, like obviously that's not a necessity. Um, cleaning out the car, want to do, not a necessity. Um, hummingbird food, I want to do, it's not a necessity. And it's like, everything is just what I want to be doing today. And that's fun. But anyway, I'm putting my blush on. I'm using this one from Wet n Wild. Let me see if it'll focus, there we go. Pearlescent pink. For the base of my eye, I'm gonna use this color in this Revlon palette. It's a really pretty shimmery white color. I'm just putting this on with my finger. And I also like to just kind of tap it down the bridge of my nose just to give that a little shine. And then for the crease of my eye, I got this brush in like a, in one of those uh, things for Christmas. Like, you know how Walmart does like the makeup kits? And I got this brush in one of those makeup kits. Um, but I'm using this, let's see if I can just show you this way. This is the palette from ColourPop. These are the colors and I'm using this color called Depart. It's like a, almost like a orangey, slightly orangey brown, mostly brown, but it has like a tinge of orange in it. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be funny. I like to push my forehead up when I do this. That way I don't get creases because right now I'm out of Botox. <laughs> Just pushing this into the crease of my eye. And I, I actually love this brush because it does a really good job blending. So this is my liquid eyeliner. I only do this on the top of my lid, like right on my lash line, and then I'll kind of wing it out a little bit, but this is the Essence brand, and it's 24 Ever Ink Liner, Intense Black. I 
And then for mascara, I'm using the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This color is just black. I know they have a brown and then they have like intense black, black as black or something like that. Um, but I'm just using like the regular black color. And I only do the top lashes and I, I'll show you guys what I do with the bottom lashes in a minute. It's barely anything, but I actually like to use a little bit of eyeshadow down there instead of mascara. Okay, so I'm just taking this brush right here. It's like really flat and skinny. And I'm using the same color that I used in the crease of my eye in this ColourPop palette, and I'm just gonna lightly tap it on there, even tapping a little bit off. And then I just put it like right here in the corner and drag it down just a little bit. I need a little bit more. Um, but I feel like that kind of just lines my, the bottom of my eye a little bit more. You might can see the difference. It's like so subtle, um, but it just gives the, like the bottom lash a little bit more of a line. Like I said, I just like this better than mascara, so lipstick. So my lipstick is Milani, and it is 430 Secret. And then I'm also just gonna do a Mary Kay gloss on top of that. And so what I like to do is take this. Look how much I have left, y'all. It's like nothing. I am almost out of this stuff. But anyway, what I like to do is just line my lips with this. And it's gonna cover most of your look anyway, but I just like to make sure I don't get like right here with it yet. Cause that's what the lip gloss is for. And I've just always done my lips this way. I just like to line them first. And then I put a gloss on and I feel like that makes them look a little bit more plump. And normally the gloss doesn't matter like what color it is. I use like any gloss that's laying around as long as it's not like a red gloss or anything that's gonna like clash with the color that you have, but. And that's it. That's my simple makeup routine. You can probably find all of this stuff at Walmart. I feel like the one thing that I did not get at Walmart was this ColourPop palette. I think I got that at Ulta, but it's super simple. I was gonna go ahead and get dressed, but I've got one more stretch and fold to do with my sourdough, and I'm already like five minutes late to doing that, so I'm gonna do that now, then I'll get dressed. Fit up the day. I just have my black bathing suit on that I've literally had for so long, I can't even remember where I got it from. And then I have my leopard print wraparound skirt that I showed you guys that I got from Amazon the other day. I've got some sandals on, also from Amazon. My Athena ring <laughs> that I got when we were in Greece. Also, this necklace, people ask me where I got it from all the time, and I also got this from that same shop in Greece. And funny story, my little statue here in the bathroom also has this necklace on. It's the same thing. It's slightly different color, but um, it's the same thing. But I got this last time we were in Greece, um, in Athens, for Julie, because it's so similar to my necklace. And so whenever I feel like she's old enough to like really take care of it, um, I'm gonna give her that one. That way we have the same necklace. So I've been outside with Ross for like the past 30, 45 minutes, but I feel like I'm already starting to get a little bit of sun. I'm like, I better watch it. So look at him. Look how cute he is just doing his schoolwork right there. But like I said, I don't wanna get too much sun today. So I'm gonna come inside and do a little bit of laundry. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about 
separate my dough into two loaves. Look how pretty it's looking. Get my pans sprayed down before I do this. That way I can just pop them in there. Put my flour out. Take my rings off. I always forget to do that. Wow, it's so pretty. Okay, now they're gonna sit for two and a half hours, covered with the towel. cookies and I've actually been taking a break editing everything that you've seen so far it is just such a pretty day I really don't think I'm gonna get to cleaning out the car today because I was looking at the weather and the day that I'm filming this is Thursday and on Sunday it's supposed to be like rainy and 64 degrees and I'm like you know what I'd rather be in the garage cleaning out the car that day instead of on this pretty day so um, anyway 
Everybody's already had our meal for the day and I know that they are gonna be ready for a sweet treat soon. And we really only have like one meal in the middle of the day, like two or three o'clock is when we normally eat. And number one, it saves on groceries a lot because the kids will normally have like cereal or oatmeal and they wake up later, like 10 or 11. Um, that's when they normally wake up. And so we'll just have like our big meal at two or three. It also helps with energy um, that way you get your energy spike in the middle of the day and you're not also not going to bed feeling full and kind of gross. Um, so it's good to have your meal in the middle of the day or your biggest meal in the middle of the day. So we've already had that and I know they're going to be ready for their sourdough cookies later on because we have been watching Lost with our kids and um, which let me just say it's PG-13. I'm pretty sure it's PG-13. It is a little edgy though. Um, our kids are 10 and 11, but I know they can handle it because um, we've watched some things like Lost with them in the past, like Divergent and The Hunger Games and stuff like that. So um, I knew that our kids could handle it. So if you're thinking about watching Lost, I would definitely suggest maybe watching a few episodes um, at first. But Justin and I watched Lost. It was my postpartum show after I had Julie. And you know, it's February. You're definitely not wanting to get out a whole lot with a newborn. Plus, Julie was like the worst sleeper as a baby. I had the worst sleeper and the best sleeper. And so anyway, uh, we were not sleeping a whole lot and we definitely needed a really good show that was like really hooking during that time. And so we binged Lost for the first time then. So it's crazy knowing that like the first time Justin and I watched it, she was a newborn and now we're watching it again with them and they like understand it and really get into it. But anyway, normally when we're watching Lost at like seven or eight is when we kind of get hungry again for our second meal, which isn't really a second meal. Sometimes I'll do like a charcuterie board or um, just pop some popcorn, have some fruit, you know, something easy like that. Or leftovers, we'll have leftovers for tonight. Normally I try to make enough food to have leftovers, but anyway, that's kind of how our meal time goes in our house. I know they're gonna be ready for some sweet treats pretty soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these sourdough cookies. The first thing I'm gonna do is cream together half a cup of butter. And of course, I forgot to take mine out at a time, so I had to put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. But ideally, you would want it to just be softened. And then one cup of brown sugar. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna put in half a cup of sourdough discard. This doesn't need to be fed ahead of time. Um, this is one that I fed last night and ended up using some of it for the sourdough bread today which is why I figured it'd be good to make sourdough cookies today too because it just got fed last night but it's not like in its like rising period anymore so it's a discard at this point um okay the next thing we're gonna do is put in two egg yolks and three teaspoons of vanilla extract one and two So I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour unbleached in this bowl and then I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and then one teaspoon of baking soda. Whisk that together. And then I'm gonna combine the wet and dry ingredients and I'm just gonna do this at the same time. I feel like you guys can't see that. Let me do it from the other side. Then I've got my measuring cup here. Half is chocolate chips and half is butterscotch. Now I'm just gonna fold that in. All right, so now I've covered it up and I've got it in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna let the cookie dough kind of harden up 
That way it's easier to mold the cookies. But that is perfect timing because look at my sourdough loaves. I've got the oven preheating for these. So I'm gonna bake these. And while these are baking, the cookies will be sitting in the refrigerator. And then when these are done, I'll be able to make the cookies. Gorgeous, these are so pretty. I don't care how many times I do this, I get excited every time. I think I'm gonna take this top rack out too because that's pretty close. We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Finally gonna make the hummingbird food and it is so simple. So I have three cups of water in here. I'm gonna boil that and put in three fourths cup of sugar and then you just boil it and then let it cool before you put it in the container. And that's it, it is literally so simple. So you don't really need to boil it for long. It just says bring it to a boil and then you can take it off the heat. All right, so water's boiling, I'm turning it off now. And we're just gonna let it sit here while it cools down. Then we'll add it to the feeder. Mm -hmm. 